Okay, the plan is we're gonna start looking and shooting stuff now. It's not amazing spots to be on, to be honest. I'll just go there. Okay. I'm gonna start shooting Gal because this is just fucking getting long. I think I'm going to try and kill... quite a few people actually. I have field guns here, here and here, at least. Are you actually going to kill this guy though? I don't really buy it. But I would like to see it. Fireman. Why? Why is it lying to me in every fucking shot today? Oh yeah, man. We will hopefully finish it. <laughs> okay, couple of idiots to kill here. Mainly this guy, like, really needs to die. I'm gonna go here. You're gonna run away. More Gatling guns, more Lancers coming too. Shoot over stuff, yes. Okay. He actually did what he said he was going to do. God damn. Fucking wild. Alright, bang that guy. Bang. 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 We do do a bit of damage when we actually shoot. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, this is what's going on down here. Oh, 
Who was the guy that died? Really? They killed the guy in the city? Interesting. Okay, well, we better pick off some guys down here because it will make our life probably easier. Than that, really, is that it? We've gone with range, very scary stuff. to do okay let's get some more lads honestly believe these guys might well make a difference we'll just smash them in as uh, meat shields for the field guns guy from the military academy, welcome. I doubt you're making it there, but you can try. Definitely going to get shot from there. Uh, there. Right. Fine. Is that not enough? Thank you. 
Let's give defense as well. Did I? Uh, okay. Tell you what, a bit of happiness would not be bad right now. If we can actually get over that the happiness amount. Stuff like that can help too. How much urbanization do I have? 17. So maybe next time we can actually like become happy. I think it's plausible. And let's get another great general up here. But I have another one coming as well, I do. Where should I great general next, I guess here? <laughs> Won't even need to destroy this one for that. I could see. All right, come on lads, come on lads. Don't fuck about, just don't die. Just just stay alive. Especially the field ones. Let me make sure that okay. Well either of them are equally likely. There's a safe spot. They somehow kill that guy and then somehow smash through. You never know, mate. You never do know. Alright, this looks much friendlier though. This looks like I'm about to start raining down hell on them. Okay. Sweet. So. Wow, absolute bastards came up here as well. I really did not expect that. How could they see me? That's the unfair bit. More damage than it said. What? I mean, the problem is I don't... I don't really want someone to get stuck there after attacking. I guess if I do it with a lance so they can retreat, but... Yeah. I think that's reasonable. I'm gonna go like this.
Um, yeah, okay. Okay. This makes sense to me. This is actually the best spot we have. Five field guns. All right, all right, all right, let's smash. Seems good, seems good. And now, yeah, let's try and get a couple of idiots. Have I got any medics? Yeah, but I kind of wanted one next to him. Doesn't seem plausible. Alright, alright, you can kill him. Right. Okay. Yeah.
I knife this guy as well. And he can medic them. Perfect. And loads more dudes. But I think we got this now. That's okay though, they did good. Big contributions. Sorted that. Another policy as well. Yeah, we're basically there on that. Right, that will do, and we'll have it for the start of next turn instead. Do you know what? I might do this, but don't because it will definitely die. Mm, now nah, we'll leave it. Mire dos guys. Great merchant. Well, I've been trying to build one of them for ages.
Okay, well, I'm thinking. That counts. Hell yeah. So. All of the dudes, these are just a given, I think. Don't see why I wouldn't. Do it with any of these guys. I guess the only thing would be if I want to move them back or something. Um... Yeah, go on then. We can have this. I believe. Yeah, let's go with this. to do it. Wow, we're still pretty strong without even a garrison. We do still have quite a few shots though. We've still got quite a few Gatling guns. A couple more Lancers. It seems... Forty one. To be fair, I'm gonna do it with this guy because he was very brave in standing in there. Let's fucking do this. The world has been convulsed by war. Many great and powerful civilizations have fallen, but you have survived and emerged victorious. The world will long remember your glorious triumph. GG indeed we got there in the end yeah man um what a game that's one of the fucking most OP games we've ever had I feel like turn 204 doesn't feel like turn 204 but <laughs> Because uh, we've had some long turns for quite a while since we had a big army. Um, but yeah. 204 is pretty damn early, to be honest, for a, for a proper world conquest. I think the only one we had earlier was Askia, and that was on Pangea. In the good old days of the Mandakalus, that were instead of horsemen. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Um, 
obviously we had that. Let's have a little look at the old replay. So, we is down here. India up there, Aztecs, Arabia, Ethiopia, Korea, Songhai, and Pocatello, which is joined over here as well. And yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened at the start, but I remember we had a lot of space. Like, none of these guys really pushed forward. Um, India and Ethiopia were quite slow, they were building wonders I guess, and there was a quite a big desert area here as well, which kind of I feel like meant that they didn't really come this way, they went along the coast instead, so just went pretty crazy with the seas. AIs were very very not aggressive, so we um, yeah, we had like loads of turns of peace. I feel like normally Ethiopia or India would have got annoyed. And look, we haven't even conquered anything yet. And then Aztecs fell like well quickly. And then obviously we went ham and at everyone. Once we got the cannons in position, and especially once they had range, it was a big, big difference. So yeah, first war we did was with Aztecs because I had really good friendships with everyone and I didn't want to ruin them all. Um, the Aztecs were like kind of hated by everyone, at least all these guys. So I thought we'll pick on them. They were at war with these guys as well. Um, and we had a quest to take this city, I believe. Definitely wanted to get XP quests to try and bump up the Great Bombards up to the next level because it's quite difficult to get experience on them because they take 15 damage every time you do an attack. So you, you have to like wait and heal them and stuff. Um, before you can move them on and obviously they are a bit fragile if they get attacked by anything as well but they got really high range combat strength so they don't take much damage from range shots obviously they just need to be defended um yeah and then once the Aztecs were done I think I went on to Ethiopia as soon as I could um and then once we were done with Ethiopia, we literally declared war on everyone. We were eating Pocatello first and then Arabia. India held up for a little bit because his capital was decently positioned, but because we, <laughs> we managed to get this city so close to its capital so early and by that square, I was always going to be able to just great general in when I wanted to take it later on. Yeah, AIs were definitely too passive. I would imagine that's been changed in the in the newest patch. I think a couple of people did point out that that could be an issue with the last patch. Um, yeah, and I don't know what would be interesting here. I guess number of techs. Ethiopia was ahead for a while until we killed him. And like, we were never fought. Like, we were always in the mix though, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we had the trade routes and stuff coming in. And yeah, we, we just had a nice start. I think I got great library as well. So we were always reasonable on that. And even ahead on policies. That progress into authority does come with decent culture. Culture per turn. Yeah, it wasn't even that high, but yeah, I guess lots of lots of instant yields. I think I did. I have terracotta. I conquered terracotta off the Aztecs. That was what we did there. Yeah, the volley as well. Unhappiness was a bit of a problem. I 
Wow, it's weird we weren't even that far ahead on cities. I mean, I guess the fact that we had more than everyone else at, like, you know, before Medieval and for the whole game is probably kind of unusual. On Deity. Lots of food for them. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even really speak about the volley, like... So, you get the free volley from this. Plus, obviously, already having the Great Bombards. 43 range combat strength. Earlier than cannons. And they have 150% instead of 100 as well. I think they were doing, what, two, 200 damage or more? Like, it was like nearly 50% of some cities. That was pretty damn awesome. One problem with them that I didn't know is you can't upgrade into them. So I was trying to, you know, I had my guys set up ready to be upgraded and then, nah. Like you can upgrade them into field guns, but your catapults will just turn into trebuchets and then cannons. Which is kind of all right, it's just... Well, it's not great because it means you can't start getting XP on them until you've built them. They're a little bit expensive as well. But obviously, they'd be even more OP if you if you could actually upgrade into them. But then you can only have two, so it wouldn't really work. You'd have to have a choice, and that's not a thing on Civ Five, I don't think. And yeah, we had the Janissaries as well. They actually did very good work as well, clearing out units um, and had a medic on a lot of them, which is useful with uh, healing the Great Lombards. I do feel like, because I would normally get medics on ranged units anyway, and then having these guys who already have March and then have medic on them just makes sense. Don't have to have so many medics, but at least a few. And the Tursan... So gives bonus yields and gives like 15 XP for naval units built in the city. And some great admiral points. Didn't really get much use out of these. Like I was just having fun putting them around and then we went for inspired works as well to make the yields nice. But we didn't use a lot of boats. Like I can't, I feel like even here most of this was done by land units, wasn't it? And like we couldn't really get up here with the boats anyway. They did they did take out Korea for us at the end, but it wasn't like you know we could have taken Korea without them, to be honest. Just would have needed more land units to be diverted. So yeah, that's a little sad. I feel like yeah, normally you'd try and make some conquests with the Great Bombards and then um transition into a navy. Being able to build, because I, I feel like it's quite hard to level up a fleet like around compass and stuff because you can't really attack cities, they're not that strong unless you have like overwhelming fleet power. But once you get to like navigation, um, I feel like at that point you can start getting into blitz and, and keeping your boats alive. You have a lot of them, so this is a good time to be able to build uh, loads of boats with high XP or wait a bit and you know with all this stuff you'd be pretty I mean you'd have level 5 straight away even without needing the autocracy policy which you normally would and with the autocracy policy you'd be fairly close to getting to level 6 on the range boat so you could get logistics yeah, not uh, not a huge, honestly, but with the yields, somewhat nice. I like building them in lakes as well, so you get slightly better yields on the actual thing. Um, yeah, what did we build here? So...
yeah we did build great library because we were having a really nice start with progress i really love progress i just feel like it's a much better start generally than um autocracy gives Uh, yeah, so just that here, but I also built Petra here, I believe. So that was the first one that we built. Obviously, we want to have the bonus trade routes for the extra yields from Ottomans. Great Library second. I um, can't remember exactly what tech it was used for. Didn't get Terracotta Army didn't get Angkor Wat, which is okay because we weren't authority first anyway, but um, went for Colossus for the other trader as well. So fairly perfect uh, Ottoman start. Like I said, we had all this land and we had uh, gold as our resource and neighbors with silver. Um, I feel like, yeah, there was just a lot of mines about. So I actually went for the mine pantheon. I'm not sure I've ever gone it before in a... Definitely not in, like, a YouTube game, I think. And, um, yeah, it turned out to be really, really good for us. Like, culture is maybe the one thing you can struggle with a bit in progress. So having the bonus culture and, obviously, production is always nice, too. Just meant we could go monuments first rather than shrines first in the cities. Um... Found a belief, yeah, one of those admiral and uh, general points. Obviously, yeah, we actually also did get the silver monopoly because India was just so slow settling. Um, took a little while to actually get all the mines up, but we did get the silver monopoly, so very, very good culture. I mean, on the graph, we were ahead on it all game, and yeah, authority second. Like, to be honest, you get more culture from going for two of these than you generally do from... Uh, I mean, I guess... Artistry doesn't really give a lot of culture, but you probably just have a lot of culture anyway, at least until um, this one. Statecraft doesn't give a lot of culture, um, not directly at least, and neither does fealty until you have really high population. So... Yeah, um, I do feel like you get slightly quicker culture from having these two, which is good. And obviously I did want to start conquering stuff once we had the Great Bombards. Um, yeah, what was the rest of the religion? Orders, obviously, mosques next. Culture and science there, I think we had really good production thanks to the mines and stuff uh, and progress and authority both good production as well. Symbolism, can't remember if I was considering anything else there. Don't think so. And then Reformation Belief, we could have gone for a Crusader Spirit. Glory of God, um, quite a few of them. But I wanted to have the nice uh, Tersans. <laughs> to be honest. And yeah, this was the first city we conquered. Oh shit. And we had <laughs> we had Flippin Kilimanjaro as well from pretty close to the start since we rushed over here. It was a decent barber and yeah, we settled here before Ethiopia. And then after we conquered our first city, we had um, Fountain of Youth as well. So, <laughs> the game was pretty insanely perfect. Um, went Imperialism in the end. I don't know, maybe Industry would have been good too. Um, I wanted the stuff on the boats. And yeah, bonuses. This is combat bonus, basically 10% combat bonus. Stuff from conquering cities as well, if we'd ever got there. And the ability to buy great admirals. So we could build lots of Tersans. 
yeah um that i believe will probably do it um i hope everybody enjoyed this series it was a bit easy i think i might have made the difficulty mod a bit easier but i can't really remember and then i feel like the patch was easier as well so i might need to do something about that um I don't know man, I was saying at the start, I'm not honestly super motivated to play Civ right now. It's not like, you know, I don't have a huge amount of time and I'm not like, oh, I'm going to play Civ in the time that I do have. So, yeah. I don't know man. I don't know. I'm sure I'll stream at some point, um, but potentially it will just be on uh, the Melee channel. Um, and I may I may do a little bit more stuff around like discussions, stuff like uh, the uh, VP Forum Congress thing. I might do a bit of stuff around that or just help out with the with the modding. Yeah, exactly. That is the main problem. And there's, it's not like you can just stick it on quick and it'll be much quicker anyway, or like it won't really be the same game. I mean, the one idea that I, that I have that I think could actually fix that would be trying to do it so that you can play and there's a mode that you can switch on where the AI will do your troop movements for you. Like, they'll do all the calculations as if it was their own troops. And I know that would kind of suck because they would uh, shit at moving troops, but it means you could just focus on, like, the building stuff and not have to worry about... Like, obviously, you could make, you'd have to make the game a lot easier generally, and then... It would just be more about like how you want to actually build out your cities. That's the one thing that I can think of, but it's not very simple to implement. And I don't know if, you know, that might get boring quick as well. If just the entire game is like <laughs> building buildings and yeah, but it, it could be, it could be fun. But yeah, I reckon most likely thing, maybe I'll do a couple of, um, yeah, no, I think, I think it's fun, but you never know when you make these kind of changes, they might like, they sound amazing, but then when you're actually playing them, you realize like, oh, you've just created like a new, a new problem where the, the empire building becomes really tedious instead of the troop movements. I would definitely like to try it though. Uh, yeah, I could, I'll still do probably some streams where we just play some early games. Um, like, but I doubt I'll do any more full games for a while. Unless it's like a super peaceful, like, one city challenge or something. Most likely, try, um, most likely I'll play some different games. EU4. I want to try out Dota Underlords, um, see if that's actually good. I never actually played that, even though I quite like auto chess games, and I play Dota as well. Maybe we'll do some Dota streams, some 12v12 or something. And, um, yeah, something like that. But yeah, um... I think I shall head off now. Cheers for joining me. Um, a nice evening, mate. And yeah, hopefully see everyone soon. Yeah, you too, man.